hello and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for always coming back and watching these videos uh, if you are the kind of a person who is interested in productivity in personal development so this is the right video for you uh, keep watching and you can always subscribe and um, of course turn on your notification bell so that you are notified each time i have a new video so uh, i think i've been quite a while since i made uh, a video i've been quite tired um i'm just normal tired so i've not done these videos as consistently as i could have uh, wished to do them but today i really told myself i had to do this video uh just to follow up on a feedback from my channel from uh, someone had commented on uh, one of my videos i did um there is a video I did in last I did last year about uh, how frustrating my journey was when I was like looking for a job uh, a very frustrating job hunt experience. So there's this uh, one of my viewers had commented. If you haven't watched that video, you can always go back check out uh, my videos and you will see uh, one of them. I think I'll just leave the link to that video in the description box. So uh, this, uh, someone commented and told me uh, they are even having a very frustrating experience. And so I thought to myself, I needed to, to do a follow-up video on, follow up on that video just to give you insights on what to do or um, what, what do you do during this time when you're searching for a job to avoid you from uh, being burnt out or from like uh, getting into depression? Like when you are searching for a job as a young Kenyan and you feel like uh, job is a job is not coming by, nothing is opening its doors, you have you're doing so many applications, you are writing out to people, you are talking to relatives, literally you are doing basically everything that you think or you feel is what you should do to, to land yourself uh, even the list of paying of jobs, but nothing is, uh, is possibly showing up for you. So on this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can how can you how can how you you're going to wait during this period as you prepare yourself to get into the job market i will also give you some options and and ideas things which are practical things i did myself as i waited uh, till i landed into the job market and also things which i wish i could have I could have done back then instead of just uh, wasting my time uh, walking every day uh, going around searching for for a job so just listen in to these tips if you're a job seeker or if you are someone who, are, who is at the verge of saying I'm, I'm already tired for searching these jobs day and night and all that so I'll give you these insights from my life experience and of course everything I try I try making these videos around my knowledge, my experience, and also from uh, the people I've interacted with. If you have interacted with me, you know I'm a very inquisitive person. I'm curious. And also like knowing about uh, people, the experiences. I always question people, so where, how, how was it for you? And I always try by start by giving out my experience first. I tell people, you know, my first job, I was being paid this. And then, you know, when you tell people that they gain that confidence and then they start telling you about their own lives and that way I'm able to like uh, get knowledge and uh, and get insights into people's lives probably which I couldn't have gotten into. So uh, what things can you do as a youth or as a person or whichever, at whatever stage you are in your life and you feel you're waiting for a job what is the better thing to do as you wait for that job so i know most people will think that uh of course the best thing to do is uh pray uh as the first uh thing which is okay prayer is just a part of your normal life and it's something you should always do and seek for the right uh, direction from god as you wait for the job to come but there are practical things you can actually do to enhance the way you to enhance your job search so the very first thing you should do is actually identify if you have any other gifts or uh, hobby or ability 
let's say I have, like for instance, I am a graduate with a science course, from a science course, and my bachelor's is a science course, and um, I sat down, I, I wrote all the companies that possibly could employ me, you know, uh, like if you are someone who has done something like accounting, economics, there are those companies which you know can possibly employ you, let's say in Nairobi or uh, somewhere around uh, where you stay or like your target place of employment, you can write all those down. That is in line with the skills you acquired, like that is in line with your degree or your diploma or your certificate or whatever qualification you have. But now there is that natural gift, like that talent that you have, that um, that ability that you know you have. Like, for example, some people know that they are better singers. Uh, you, you may have a talent in uh, public speaking like me. Personally, I'm a natural good uh, person in speaking and in talking to people, interacting with people, I identify that that is my strength. It's a gift that I have from God. And then um, you can identify a gift you have. And you are able to, you're, you're a good uh, salesperson. You're, you know, something that comes naturally to you. You're a good cook. You're a good um, anything, just a gift. Identify the gift you have. Because at this point, remember, you're trying to um, to find your entry into the world. You've already finished your education. You have to find a way and package yourself on how you're going to now enter this um, the job world or the market world. Because all you're looking for is to start making some income so that at least you start becoming dependent on yourself. So once you identify a gift... Then you can ask yourself, what can I do with this gift at this point where I am? Is there anything I can do? Is there is there a way I can maybe even volunteer with this gift? Or maybe let's say, for instance, I'm a, someone who does public speaking. If I wanted to volunteer, I could be going out to talk to young girls, encouraging them on uh, the need for them to follow their dreams and their passion and all that. Or I could volunteer, I could go on and... Um, maybe seek for jobs as a salesperson, advertising jobs, you know, those things which I didn't study about, but, you know, I can naturally do those things. So your gift can be something you can be doing or your hobby. It can be something that you can be doing as you do the, sub, the job search. What makes the job hunting or job search very frustrating is when you're idle because now you are... All the, all the frustration starts setting in and you start feeling life is very unfair. You start feeling like, oh God, I've done so much. I've achieved um, nothing is working for me. You start looking around, seeing other people are getting jobs and you, you are not landing anything. You see, you become frustrated. So to distract your mind, start finding out something to do with the gifts you have, your natural gifts. And another thing you can do is actually identify opportunities around you, even small, small, small businesses you can run, even online businesses. I have another video which I've put out um, small businesses you can start with, even less than a thousand bob, like delivery businesses. Um, you can always do these small, small businesses which do not require you to actually invest a lot of money into it or they don't really require any capital like the the one i told you of you can facilitate people to maybe identify hotel rooms you can then you can like you can be like a broker you can decide to hawk all thrift clothes online you can decide to start um encouraging people online you can you can decide to pursue a, a business as a side hustle as you continue pursuing your job uh, hunt or job search. And then uh, something else that you should do during this time is identify any free courses, like free courses, like not, not entirely free. If you can be able to pay for the courses, like courses like driving school, courses like um, uh, baking, 
baking school courses like these small small crafts which you can do during that period if you have time to if you have money to pay for those courses it's good you can you can actually pay and learn those courses during those time you can eventually you will find that those will even earn you more money than actually getting into for more employment and what else you can do is you can be um you can walk into those uh baking uh places or whichever uh, enterprises and ask for like something like an unpaid internship like you can walk into the companies you want to work for or something like that and then you can just uh, negotiate with the person do not be afraid always try to talk to to these managers talk to this you know they are also really people they are in this world they have experienced these uh, challenges try to tell them that you're still in this job searching phase you want an opportunity where you can actually exercise your skill or you where you can earn some experience and then this way you will be able to add some experience as you wait for a job. And at times people have gone to places as, as interns and they have, um, they have gained jobs from being interns at those companies. So someone who has been going for an internship and also I will advise that when you go to an internship, uh, make it clear to the company that you are open for uh, for a job in case it comes up at that uh, company tell them you are you're looking for a job but you are offering yourself for a particular period of time any don't volunteer like for like for an inf infinite uh, time just have a plan tell yourself you're going to volunteer for a particular period of time and then after that period of time, request for an employment. If it's not offered to you, then you can actually move to an, a different company. Don't be someone who can easily be taken advantage of. Like a company can just keep uh, using your skills, using your your expertise, using your, your energy, and then they uh, don't pay you back. Even if you are desperate for a job, you also need to be wise and have a plan for your life. Um, so internships is another way of just holding on as you wait for a good job to come by. And then another thing is look for people who have been before you. Like there are some people you may have known from, from university, from college, uh, and always do not be afraid to pitch your, your job such experience, you know, talk to people tell them i'm actually looking for a job can i is there anything i can do i can start from any level like be actively searching i know it's a frustrating face of anyone's um life but i feel if i could have gone back to my job search experience i really would not have looked for a job during that period of time i would have employed uh, my gifts my 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 skills and my knowledge to be able to to learn something better until next time bye bye use those tips that i've given you and if you have any additional tips do not feel uh, afraid to comment on the comment section below and also you can always reach me via my you can always comment and uh, let me know if you want me to um kind of take you through any topic that you feel you want to listen to i can always do a video on it until next time bye bye stay motivated stay productive and always keep developing yourself